about these whales. Anyway. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Thanks so much. What are your uh, initial impressions of life in Ridley? Oh, no, it's very nice. Yeah, me and my wife are settling a bit now. The first two weeks we were staying in Oktal, so it was a bit of a up and down thing. Yeah, but no, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful country. Yeah. Spent some time in New Zealand. Makes me think of that a lot. Very yeah. green hills. No, it's a beautiful place. Yeah. So what was um, the decision process to come here then? Um, I signed a contract with the Scot, uh, not the Scots, the uh, Kings, the EP Kings, that has actually been upgraded to the Super Rugby now. But uh, I heard of opportunity to come here before I signed there, but uh, it didn't, it wasn't great timing and stuff because I was still contracted to the Lions at that time. So it happened a bit quick, and then I decided to because I got married this year. So I decided to just go to PE for now. That would be the easier option to the Kings. And then the Scarlets contacted me after I was there already still showing interest and then I uh, got talking with my agent and stuff and I uh, saw it was a very good opportunity for me to come here. I spent a year in New Zealand which I really enjoyed and uh, yeah, I spoke to George Earl who was here already mm. and he said it's a very good, very professional setup and everything and I decided it uh, could be a good adventure for me and my wife. Are the Kings, are they replacing the Lions next year? Yes, yeah, they are. Yeah. So you've had experience with both of those, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, I've played at the, I started out at the Sharks, and then I played for the Lions, and then for the Kings now. So where are those three teams based, respectively? Uh, Sharks is from Durban, Durban yeah. uh, Lions is from Johannesburg, and Kings is Port Elizabeth. Port Elizabeth. Yeah. Right. Bit different here. Yeah, no, it's, like, <laughs> it's cold. I'm not gonna lie to you. It's pretty cold out here. Yeah, yeah. it's uh, in the not used to the weather and stuff, yeah. but uh, it's it's easy to adapt to. And straight into Heineken Cup. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a good start for us. Uh, I think we did well last week. We just need to carry that forward. I'm looking forward to it. I've played in the NPC New Zealand, the Curry Cup, mm -hmm. so I've been lucky to play in a bunch of different uh, domestic competitions and stuff. So I'm looking forward to seeing what. You look at the group, the Scarlets, you've got to look at the winners from last year, like yeah. the semi-finalists from last year, yeah, and, yeah. and one of the form teams in England as well. So yeah, no, the shows Scarlet, the standard, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it does. I, I think uh, I think the Scarlets started out really well. I followed them because I wasn't here yet, and then they had two tough weeks, which, ugh, I mean, it can be a company to a lot of things, you know. And uh, But the boys came back very well this week. I think the important thing is to keep going like that. We can't be up there one week, down the next week. The most important thing is consistency for us at the moment. Simon was talking uh, about different second rows, different types of second rows. You're saying Thomas Villegas coming in and that yeah. type of thing. How would you describe yourself? <laughs> it's always a tough question. Uh, well, I've, I've played for, I, I don't know how it works here, four for us is usually the heavier mm -hmm. carrying lock. Yeah. So I've played that as well, but um, I've been used in lineouts quite a lot as well. So I've, I've actually covered both. And similar year, I'm actually co covering both the, the types of locks, which which uh, helps me, but I mean, it makes it easier for the coaches as well to choose if they want a five or a four. I mean, you have to look at the competition you play on the weekend. It's going to be a looser game, weather conditions, all of that plays a, plays a big part, yeah. It's a competitive area in the squad now, isn't it? Yeah, very. Uh, Thomas came in, well, I've met him the first time today. Yeah, yeah there's some there's some outstanding players. I mean, Sione is playing really good rugby. Yeah. George O was playing brilliantly. I mean, he's had a week off because of a bit of stiffness and stuff, but I mean, he'll be firing this week again. You got Jake, you got uh, Joel, you got a bunch of bunch of guys, you know. So anxious time when selections announced. Yeah, no, it is. It's but but uh, there's a really good um, vibe between the boys. There's there's really hard competitiveness, but still the guys are, are helping each other out. You know, there's. I mean, I'm a new guy. I'm struggling with a lot of things, and I mean, there's not one lock that hasn't been helpful and you know spending extra time on line outs and stuff with me so i think there's a really good competitiveness but i think it'll only bring out the best in all of us how did you feel it went last week because you haven't played for a, <clears throat> a few weeks yeah yeah no i've actually haven't been playing for a couple of months actually right, okay. uh it went well yeah. i i enjoyed myself i really enjoyed myself the it's a different type of game yeah I enjoyed playing in the in the wet actually because I'm not used to that. Right. Uh, yeah, lungs were flapping <laughs> around a bit, but yeah. uh, contact was good. My body yeah. feels good after the week. Yeah, a bit of stiffness, but that's that's just part of it all. But uh, no, it was really nice. Yeah. It was a, it was a different experience, different yeah. type of vibe. The guys are very active and talking and stuff on the field, so I, I really enjoyed. Yeah, yeah. You enjoyed had a good reception as well game. when you came off there at the end. It was yeah, really very. That, uh, that yeah, that is amazing. I mean, it's the first time I've ever played in the in the place, and the whole the whole stadium was clapping yeah. clapping me off. So I really appreciated that. No, it's it's an unbelievable vibe. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> I would go after training, go buy something quickly in the shop, and yeah. three four people would just stop you and have a chat to you <laughs> and tell you how they love the scarlets and. Yeah. No, the people, the support here is unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, they they just 
to recognize you everywhere where you yeah. go. So are you living in town? Right. Yes, we just, I live actually cl- quite close to the stadium. Oh, right, yeah, okay. So me and my wife's not that yeah. good with the directions and stuff <laughs> yet. So I yeah. chose a place fairly Lexicus, close to here. Yeah. 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 Where, where um, was home when in South Africa? <coughs> oh, it was all over. Um, <laughs> like I said, I played at the Sharks, which I lived in Durban. Durban. Then I moved to Johannesburg. Then I moved to Port Elizabeth. And then the last couple of weeks before I came here, I moved back to Johannesburg because I was released from the Kings. So we just had to get some stuff finalized and that. Where did so, you grow up in South Africa? Did you grow up yeah. in Durban? Uh, no, I grew up in Pretoria and Petersburg, right. yeah, way yeah. up in the north. On the belt. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and I felt yeah. Will be your first time playing in France this weekend as well. Yes, yeah, that is actually really exciting. I've this coming year is the first time I've actually been in the UK. Right. Yeah, I've never even been in the UK. I've been to a couple of other countries, but uh, so yeah. everywhere from here on where I go is going to be new to me. Yeah, yeah. France is going to be new. Italy is going to be new. Scotland, all of that's going to be my first time. Yeah. Yeah. Was you it always rugby for you as a kid? Yeah, I, I did quite a lot of the gl- athletics when I was younger. Yeah, I enjoyed a bit of discus and high jump, but I was quite a lot lighter back then. <laughs> so athletics, but in South Africa, it's an unbelievable rugby culture. You you just get brought up with it. It's yeah. it's part of what you do, and you know your dad just pushes you as much as he can, and you know your parents support you, and so it's it's mostly been rugby ever since. Do you, do you sense a bit of a similarity? This is a big rugby town. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Everything is about rugby. I mean, I don't think there's eight out of ten cars I see has got Scarlet's badges <laughs> on them. Every shop sells the jerseys. The people are really, really into their rugby. Yeah. That's good. Age grid, caps, Joe, did you play for the Springboks at a junior level? Yes, yeah. That's, I was back at the Sharks then, so I played for the Sharks in the 19s and 21s. Right. Right. And then I played for the spring, uh, the junior Springboks in the 19s. So we the won 19th. the World Cup in Durban that year. Yeah. Would there have been any, well, there would have been players, I'm assuming, who would have played in that side who have gone on to... Uh, yeah, a uh, guy like Chili Boy Ralapele, the hooker. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, uh, Richard Strauss, is actually playing, yeah, qualified for Ireland now, yes. Well, he was there the next week in Valencia. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Uh, Brousseau, Heinrich Brousseau, right, the sixth yeah. flank. Uh, Stechman that plays for the Bulls. Right. Um, yeah. yeah, there's actually quite a lot of a lot of guys. Yeah. Alistair Hargreaves that's over right, in yeah. I think he's Saracens. Right, Saracens. Yeah. yeah, he left yeah. Sharks. Yeah. yeah, there's actually quite a lot of guys that uh, that came out yeah, of it. Yeah. Dion Fury, guy that uh, signed. Uh, captain for Western Province for Stormers right. now. He also signed in Europe now. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So now there's quite a lot of guys yeah. that made it out of that team. Yeah. Impressive names there, yeah. Yeah, no, it was a really good group. We yeah. were we were blessed that yeah, yeah. With, with talent, yeah. 